project's laboratory is a place where the students act as though they are in a workplace. We got positive 2.9 to 3.5. They work on projects. Any other possible variables that we have. They write reports which might mimic a paper or, or a report they might write for their employer. And they follow projects all the way through to the end. We're also testing an infrared camera to see how well it's calibrated and how well it corresponds to our our data through thermocouples. Because of the improvements we've made to the lab, our students are having a much richer, much fuller experience of what it will mean to be a chemical engineer. After becoming chair about five years ago, I looked at the lab and decided that it was time to do a renovation and to get new equipment in the lab for our students. The lab was put in place in the 60s and had not been renovated since that time. Several of the pieces of equipment were old and falling apart. It's an electric manometer. And what it's going to do is read the pressure drop electronically. We now have enough diversity in our equipment that we have the option of doing things that can be done relatively quickly. So it can become part of a regular class. It's the very top of the And then in between will be 90, right? I think that'll help our whole curriculum. As a student, the access to the equipment is uh, it's, it's really critical. Um, it's, if you were to go out in industry and not have worked on equipment at all, um, it would be really confusing. Um, and you get a lot of the troubleshooting of working on equipment uh, done here in the lab space. So, I feel the hands-on experience is quite important for our students because up to this point in their career they only have theoretical experience with the concepts of, that are important to chemical engineering. But here they get to see where theory meets reality and, and how that uh, can go wrong and how it can go right. When students walk into a place that hasn't been updated, looks like it's old and falling apart, they have a sense for that's where the discipline is at. And so I wanted to have the ability to put a fresh light on things, to have new pieces of equipment so students could see that chemical engineering was a new, exciting field all the time. But he's growing algae in there. One of the major things we did was to renovate the biotechnology room, which is the room we're in now, and take out all of the old cabinets, which no longer really worked pretty good. for the type of experiments that we wanted to do here. So as a result of our fundraising efforts, our donors gave us nearly $200,000 cash and some equipment, and we were able to purchase new things with a project called the Beef Fund. Because of the way this matching grant program is set up, for every dollar that comes from donors, we get two dollars. One of those dollars would be from the university or the College of Engineering and the other is from the state of Utah. With that $200,000 we were basically able to put about $400,000 worth of new equipment, new facilities, upgrade of facilities in the area that you see now. Well, almost all of our donors are graduates of the program. I count myself among them. I'm a graduate of our program. It's really gratifying to know that so many of our own alumni donated back to the department to help us. I just feel a, a certain amount of gratitude to the university and the department for the education I received. We love our department. We love the University of Utah. 1.65 for the high. We want to see our, our students go on to successful careers and Projects Lab is part of that goal.